Right. Um, so you may have seen this one before, done with various things. Um, introduction, my name is Danny, I am by trade a uh, science teacher, now a science teacher. I also do whiteboard training, bits of ICT, and I blog a lot, probably too much, on whiteboardblog.co.uk. So I'll share some of these things, I've shared some things in the past. But one of the things I've been quite interested in at is, you do a science experiment, do a science practical, or something with the kids, and we say, that's nice, now go away and write it up. It's always the same old thing, method, result, conclusion, they write down what they did. Um, and that's a little bit dull to be doing that all the time. So I was trying to look at different ways of using ICT, <coughs> there's a really boring write it up feature. Right, kind of bad news. Um, different ways of, of using it, so I've got three or four different ideas. Toonlets is a website that lets you create your own comics. So you log in, it's free to log in. Um, let me just see if I can actually go and make a comic. And you can choose however many panels you want. It starts off with four. If I want to stick another four, I can stick another eight, so I can do. I'm going to choose a character for this box. Choose character. Let's have... This is Nick Clay, looks like John Travolta. Um, and then you can choose what sort of um, picture, what mood he's in at the moment. Not a very good one. Then click choose character. We can choose somebody else. And then we can choose what... Move there in, and then you just obviously you can see what you can do next. You click in the boxes and type in your text. When you finish, you hit publish, and it turns it into a comic that looks a little bit like that. Now, that one's basically a bouncing ball experiment, a staple diet of all secondary science lessons. Take a tennis ball, we've dropped it to see which affects the height it bounces. It's basically saying we won't see what happened, um, anything will be changed in the height we dropped it from, what if you keep the same, we change the material, and then carried on, this means my prediction was correct, and so on. So rather than being the same old write-up, we've made a comic strip instead, which has said the same kind of thing. Print screen that, they can put it into their books, they can save it um, as a JPEG or whatever. So that's, that's toonlet.com. There are other comic strip generators out there as well, which is one I quite like. Um, this is my next favourite one, this is Go Animate. I think I have shown the students as well. Yes. I lose track now while I've shown them. Um, Toonlet is a, I'm hoping the sound works, free website again. Um, you choose the settings, you choose the characters, and then you just get a succession of speech bubbles. And you type in the speech bubbles what each character says, you push a button, it then generates the speech for you in a kind of slightly automatic Siri type. It sounds like that's our answer actually, listen to it in a minute. So this is, this is the results of burning magnesium in air. So it's a secondary one again. If I play that, I hope it works. It's very Did you know that if you burn magnesium in air, and then collect all of the ash, that it actually weighs more than at the start? Really? I have thought it would have burnt up and got like so. Well, you see, the magnesium reacts with the oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. I didn't know that. <laughs> the answer oxygen makes the compound of magnesium oxide weigh more than the magnesium element. Very clever. Okay, so I type the script, I put the script in there, but the characters <coughs> just read out what I typed. You could have typed anything in, it would read it out for you. GoAnimate is free, there are some pay for bits on it, which is a bit of a pay for. If, if you choose the right options and choose the sort of default characters, that's completely free, it didn't cost me a penny. Um, the only thing I did do was I spent, I think, a pound download it as an mp4 file, so I've actually got it saved to my machine for those moments when the internet is flaky. But you don't have to do that, you can just link uh, a link to it on GoAnimate. Um, GoAnimate.com, that's free, as I said, I like that one. There is a similar site called Extra Normal. Annoyingly, it seems to have gone really down the pay route now, so I couldn't find much in the way of free options on Extra Normal. But Extra Normal does the same kind of thing. You choose the characters, you get much more control over cameras and where you put the cameras and so on. Um, I mean, all these things, I'm, I'm putting a science slant on every topic you can start to do these for digital storytelling in any way you want to. How good for time? Got four minutes. I thought it was six minutes, I'm going to add to the time. Um, <laughs> where's my guy? Right, I'll put this one on YouTube, let's see if this works. <coughs> Hello, teach me. This is oh, fun, nice one. Cool. Cool. Um, that's another tool. That's a technical term. No, I got on that one. Oh well, it was it was um, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I got a big round of applause for it. It was brilliant. Um, <laughs> if you want it, it's on YouTube. This whole presentation on YouTube. I've just sat down and played. 
so what do you think? Well, I was carrying out an experiment to see what happened to the fermentation of yeast at different temperatures. What did you do? I put a solution of yeast into different test tubes and then added sugar solution to each arm. Did you use the same amount each time? Why, yes. I used 10 centimeters cubed, so that way it would be a fair test. I then put the lids over the end of each tube to catch the gas. The yeast make carbon dioxide gas as it ferments the sugar. Then what did you do? It kind of goes on. Oh, 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 Sadly, you only get two characters, so I couldn't bring the cat in. Which is a shame. Can I ask you a question? Yes. With this one and the go animate, well, the go animate one, if in bed, so would you be able to then embed that into the wiki if we use the other lady's idea? Um, would that, would that with, this is go animate, um, and there's embed code. Yeah, because it says embed, would you be able so, to embed that into Yes, you can embed that into a wiki. I, I had, when, I, when I blogged about it, I embedded it into my blog. But the embed code will work wherever, so if you want to. It still links through to the GoAnimate site, but yeah, you can embed it into the wiki if you want to. But you could watch that just through GoAnimate. Yes. It. So you either, I, I've gone to my page because it was easier to, to log in there. But if you grab that embed code, grab that, put it into your wiki, then the students just see the video and haven't got yeah. to worry about going and trying to find it, which is the hassle. Um, extra normal was that one. Again, free in parts, but there are kind of bits now that they make a charge. Um, and then the final thing, just slightly time, have you One minute. One minute, great. Um, animation software. It's different bits of animation. You have got things like Jelly Cam, which free. is free. You've got um, Monkey Jam, which seems to have vanished for a while. The no website's gone down. Those. It's not as good, they're free. It's, um, it's a giant screening robot monkeys.com um, is the website. Zoo 3D and I Can Animate are the bunch of that pay for about 30 quid, but really nice. So I'll show you very quickly. <coughs> this was um, students at a school in Brighton doing Predators and Prey. This is key stage three. <laughs> the joys of YouTube. <laughs> about snakes bringing down an elephant. Have a chat about that. But they had one lesson to make models and then one lesson to animate it. And some didn't quite get the idea of making models. It's the one that had no bending at all. It had to sort of fall onto its prey and eat something. And then, oh, that's not an animation thing. I quite want to see No, that's just... Yeah. Not as exciting as it sounds, I can promise you. And then there is one that's brand brand new, which is basically students, so these are PGT students, trying to do mitosis. So it's biology. This is the process of mitosis done in plasticine now. If this works, then I'll shut up. I'll build it up, no YouTube's in my home. Uh, right, get that, right. It's a... Right, uh, Groovy music this time. Yeah. This shows why websites like QuietTube and ViewPure and stuff are good for showing YouTube videos. We haven't got clips or with your witness and stuff because that's probably YouTube. Right, I'll show up there. Um, those clips I will put onto um, my blog. I put on Teach Me site. If you want to see it on YouTube as well, please ping me an email and I'll put the link up for you. But. I will stop, thank you very much. Cheers.